Right. But you've got to be... But you are a bit you've ruthless. To, you were a bit score. ruthless to me when I was playing in the under-18s. <laughs> and you, you said if you want... You held the, he held the boots up. He said, if you want these boots, you're going to have to run faster or something. But uh, look what it did to you. <laughs> Graham Bloxham for Wellington Live and Wellington in your pocket. I've come back out to my hometown of Upper Hutt and I'm sitting with our Mayor Wayne Guppy. Good to see you, Wayne. Good to see you. Or can we have a... Of course yeah, we can. Yeah. It's Upper Hutt. Quick fire quiz for our Wellington Live followers. Yeah. You, you've been Mayor here for how long? This will be my 21st year. Isn't it time to move on? No, not at all. You, you're, uh, you reckon you've got a mandate? You reckon you're gonna, you, you've got the passion to... to get... uh, uh, haven't you been here as long as Shadbolt has well, been in Invercargill? He's been three years longer than me. I'm more enthusiastic about my role here now than when I was first elected. Yeah, why is that? Because there's so much happening and you, when you've been part of that, yeah. when you've been part of that encouragement, when you've been part of getting deals across the line, you want to make sure that uh, they're finished. Mm. Surely there's some young people that you want on your team or something? Absolutely, are... and there will be, and there are going to be. I, as Mayor of the city, have been fortunate I've had some have had real good people. You got it's a team. It's not the the mayor can't do it on his own. Mm. And and if you don't create that atmosphere, mm. if you don't create an atmosphere for teamwork, mm. if you don't let people f be part of a team, mm. then you're going to have problems. And look, whilst I don't like criticising other councils, you can look around the country. And in fact, not too far from here into the city where they've had problems. For us, we had one real big investment that we needed to do and that was obviously the the upgrade of h2 extreme yeah 25 years it's old it's tired it's costing money we didn't do that mm. then we'd be patching things up on a monthly you know six monthly basis and very soon you just chew into the millions so take the advice we're doing it um you yeah, know look we need the city to do well mm. Everyone in the Wellington region, every city in the Wellington region needs the city to hum. Mm. And anyone that tells you they don't doesn't understand the dynamics of Wellington. Wayne, you're going to a person that understands the region and understands Upper Hutt and knows all the other mayors. You're a senior mayor. Do you see an amal amalgamation of the councils as being a wise thing to do? I don't. Th look, the, the conversation has to be had. Mm. Government's going through major reform, putting local government through major reforms. We've got the three waters. You've got uh, RMA reform. You've got the future of local government. Mm. The, the conversation will be on the table for everyone mm. uh, within a year mm. when the local government, the future of local government, comes forward. Because mm. they'll have a lot of. I suspect in there will come what is the role for local government. They'll take things away. They may add things, but with that, the structure will be looked at across mm. the country. Mm. What's Upper Hutt's brand? There's been a shift and a change, but actually, the reality of it is we are still a family orientated city. Mm. Generally speaking, if you look at the developments that have taken place, mm. we, the, the attraction is generally mum, dad or, or partners and children. That's something that I'm proud of. Mm. It's something that we, we shouldn't shy away from. Mm. If you want the action living in high-rise departments, and, you know, in the city, then the city's a place for young people. Mm. You know, they're, they're, we're having a variety of, of housing now, mm. which gives people options. Mm. But generally speaking, our role in the region is the, is the, is, is the family. Mm. And if you look around, it's relatively flat and the opportunities, schooling's good. It doesn't matter where you live in Upper Hutt. Mm. You know, there's not uh, suburbs that are highly inflated prices simply because the school's better there than it is down the road. Mm. Um, and there are a lot of things for, for mums, dads and partners to do with their children. So mm. that's our role as, as, if you like, in the housing. And everything flows off from that. Mm. What's your take on the fact that people think that the, this whole racing thing is a bit of a scam? A, how can the racing course be sold for housing and, and, and supermarkets and things like that? Isn't it, a, isn't it a treasure that just sits there empty and, It'll be and a does big, nothing? It'll be a bigger treasure. Yeah. And, yeah. and the, the development that's proposed down there at the Wellington Racing Club, uh, and as I said, will, will future-proof the track. Mm. It'll future-proof the club. The racing club here and the Trentham track will remain one of New Zealand's premier track. So there are a number of, 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 of grunty developers yep. that are willing to take a risk. And I think a lot of people look at it and they look at the names of Gillies being kicked around and, 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 and what they probably don't appreciate is the risk that those people take. Absolutely. They just go, look, he's been given these opportunities. Willis Bond, those McGuinnesses, they've been given the opportunities. But they have to take great risk, don't they? And they have to pay their rates. I've always said that council's role is actually to create an environment where those feel, people feel comfortable about getting involved. Mm. No surprise policy. Mm. Let them know up front. And, mm. and, and there are things that can be done that councils can do, but certainly what's important is you create an environment where those developers feel comfortable mm. and confident mm. 
that the game's not going to change on them. Mm. All of them. doesn't matter who, when you're talking about successful developers and investors, they cut the risks out. Mm. And, and if, if council... Uh, if council's unstable, or if, you know, does U-turns on them, mm. then they go, look, this is too hard for me, mm. we're not coming here, we'll go somewhere else. So Upper Hutt's a good place to do business. Well, look around, I can tell you, the confidence there, and, and look, you feed off that. Yeah. And whilst that environment's been created, you've got to look around at some of those major projects, and like I said, there's billions of dollars being invested just at the moment. From here, we can see out the back window, they're just the uh, Lane Street Studios, film studios. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're another uh, a big investment, and that gives confidence to, to others. Excellent. Well, that was Graham Bloxham for Wellington Live. Thank you for that run-through. Spectacular things going out here in Upper Hutt.